welcome to our Adobe Illustrator in under 10 tutorial series where we take techniques in Adobe Illustrator and teach it to you in under 10 minutes. In this series, this particular classroom, we are going to discuss drawing modes in Adobe Illustrator. Now as is, there are three drawing modes in Adobe Illustrator. The one you're used to by default is the one that uh, you see most commonly. And this is automatically selected. You don't have to do anything to change it but uh, you probably wouldn't take notice that there are these three drawing modes in Illustrator if you're first starting out. Now by default in any let's uh, switch this we're gonna just drag a shape out rectangle uh, for instance let's change the um, the stroke size let's give it a larger stroke alright and actually we'll invert it and we're going to change the color so that it's more visible and let's change this to like a blue okay so now that we have this shape on the board by default if we were to draw another shape it would stack on top of it right and that is our first drawing mode that we have in Adobe Illustrator it's a, a stacking mode now if you look at the bottom of your toolbar there is right above the change screen mode there is another button and I have it in single column format right now but if I didn't you would notice that underneath or right above actually the change screen mode you're gonna have three options and right now only the draw normal is selected and as it says you can click shift D to change the drawing mode so that's what we're gonna do if you look at those icons while we click shift and D you'll notice it changes and now it's selecting draw behind so instead of stacking on top if I were to draw anything else at this point it's going to draw behind each subsequent item that I have on the board so instead of going from the bottom up it's going from the top down now I don't particularly have a reason why I would ever use this mode there are uses for it I don't think I would ever use it so let's just take a look again 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 and now you can see how it's stacking underneath okay so we're gonna delete these now if we were to hit the shift D button we would click and go back to our normal drawing mode again shift D again and we go to draw behind second and now we are behind our other shape now there's a third mode but that mode will not be highlighted unless you have a shape selected on the actual board itself and the reason why is because it's called draw inside mode and with that it's almost like a crop or mask and it allows you to draw additional shapes within the bounding box of the shape that you select when you do draw inside mode. So right now you notice I hit shift and D, changed it to draw inside mode. Now there is a rectangular uh, artboard marquee around it. So some still marching ants. If I were to draw anything else now, you'll only be able to visibly see what is contained with inside that shape. Now by default, stacking order of draw inside is on top so it's the draw normal mode and I can continue to draw shapes or any object indefinitely within the box without worry of it expanding to the outside of that actual box alright and I can still double click to get inside that group and I can edit the shapes I can double click to get in in other words click the group double click to get the individual shapes which are isolated within and if I want to get even closer I could double click again to get to the path which you'll notice up top so those are the three modes we have draw normal mode I'm just gonna run through them real quick again this is draw normal oh, actually we're still on draw behind this is draw normal where we are stacking it on top this is draw behind mode where we are stacking underneath and then this 
is draw inside mode. So those are the three drawing modes in Adobe Illustrator. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. If you uh, would like more information, feel free to ask uh, in terms of tutorials. Um, I'm making more as we go along, so feel free to contact me at any time. Again, you can find me online, www.theonewillfocus.com, or on Instagram, where the majority of my work is shown, at The One Will Focus. So I look forward to seeing you guys in the next tutorial. Take care. Thank you.